Weather with Chief Meteorologist Dylan Robichaud. All right, what's the saying by uh, Luke Bryan? Rain is a good thing. Well, it actually brought down our pollen count here, so it is certainly a good thing. It brought it down to a 39, which is moderate, and then the grass pollen is at a zero here, which is pretty good. You know, over the past like 50 years or so, specifically looking just at the western part of the Willamette Valley, uh, temperatures have really gone up here going back from uh, 1970. And you know, pollen and these allergies that we get is a function of how warm the temperature is. So if it's warmer, you get a longer growing season. And that means that we have longer days that we have uh, pollen out there. And in fact, on average, over the last 52 years, we have increased the longevity of the pollen season by about 38 days. That is quite remarkable here. So again, these can get carried by the wind and can cause a asthma and different allergic reactions. Uh, pollen is just basically a tiny little grains that get released by plants and the wind can really exacerbate that. That's why sunny days can be problematic and it normally peaks here in the spring and summer. Uh, and then mold also can be a problem as well. As we look here at the country by and large, you know, the four corners, we're not looking at an increase in the longevity of the growing season, but Oregon here, one of the top places throughout the lower 48 that is seeing a longer growing season and thus a longer allergy season as well. So I thought that was pretty interesting to share with you. 30 degrees out there. It is a cold start to your Friday, but we've made it. TGIF 30 right now Monroe uh, 39 up here in Newport. It is cold. Make sure to grab the jacket and uh, put the jacket on the kids as you head off to the bus stop. You might need a ice scraper out there today because it is definitely on the chilly side. Just kind of be ready for that. Today, though, we are going to be looking at a break from the rain. We do get some clouds and showers that build back in later on today. 4 p.m. this afternoon, we're looking at showers inland, and then along the coast, we'll be looking at some improving conditions as we head into the afternoon. 54 is the high I'm going for in the Roseburg area, 52 here along the Oregon coast. And as we head into the weekend, it looks like I'm eyeballing Sunday to be the drier of the two days. It won't be completely dry, but it will be improving from what we see on Saturday when we have widespread rain. The sun is back, high pressure is back, and we warm up to the mid 70s by Wednesday and Thursday. Not before we get some snow here across the Oregon Cascades. And as we uh, head home to the valley, temperatures will be on the cool side. And then we warm up into the upper 60s to lower 70s. It is now time to